For some Dallas taxpayers, those rental bikes that are scattered all over the sidewalks might as well be landmines. Now you've seen the bikes, you, you can't miss them. Two wheelers in a rainbow of colors left behind by renters in myriad places. But for those without sight, like Eric Burton, who has retinitis pigmentosa, lives downtown, they've transformed once easily traversable sidewalks into dangerous minefields. Last week, our Matt Howerton detailed how Burton partially tore his ACL after a too close encounter with a bike left in the middle of a sidewalk. And he's not the only one. The Dallas Lighthouse for the Blind, a resource center for 150,000 visually impaired North Texans, has been swamped with complaints about dangerous bike obstructions. Dallas's 311 call center has also fielded grievances. Now, Dallas City Hall does promise regulations to help, but in the fall, and that is just not good enough. There are 18,000 rental bikes in Dallas alone. That's more than New York City. And the thought that Eric Burton or Donna Miller, whose guide dog has trouble navigating the wheeled obstacles, must wait that long to walk safely on a sidewalk is preposterous. Look, I, I love the rental bike idea. It helps tourists, but you can't be the world-class city we claim to be when you treat some residents here long before the rental bikes like second-class citizens. And that is how this appears. You can comment on Facebook. Look for WFAA.